ขอเชิญทำบุญสะดอกเคาะต่ออายุสร้างเสริมบุญบารมีซื้อลงศพให้กับผู้ยากร้ายฮัลโหลและวอลกัมบ a กท a ่ทุกท่านวันนี้เราจะไปทางเชียงใหม่ถึงเชียงแดวอีกประมาณหนึ่งชั่วโมงและหนึ่งชั่วโมงถ้าคุณไปจากโรงงานที่เก่าไปเชียงแดวถ้าคุณยังไม่สมัครสมาชิกก็ขอให้คุณสมัครสมาชิกและถ้าคุณชอบคลิปนี้ก็อย่าลืมกดไลค์กดแชร์และถ้าคุณรู้สึกเหมือนกันไปซื้อกาแฟเราจะรักกันมากและช่วยสนับสนุนให้ช่องของเราได้ดี So this is a beautiful day, and I'm glad we're doing this video today. I was originally planning or thinking about doing it yesterday. However, when Kendall and I woke up yesterday, we heard a lot of racket and a lot of trucks. Well, they're putting new asphalt on our street, and it's a dead end street. So once they got to our house, there was no leaving. So we were pretty much stuck at home until all that was over with. But uh, it worked out fine because, hey, this is a this is a really good day to do this. In other news, Kindle had a change, and let me show you exactly what that change is. Well, we are on our way to the hair salon. Guess which one of us is getting our hair done today? <laughs> no, it isn't me. It's, it's Kindle. Yay. So, what are you getting done different? Well, I haven't had my hair cut since March when we were still in the U.S. And I haven't had bangs in about 20 years, so I'm contemplating bangs. Now I need to make sure my hair is still going to be long enough for a ponytail, uh, but I'm going to a place that's been highly recommended on some of the expat uh, Facebook pages. It's called New York, New York. It's an Aveda salon, so we shall see. Well, let's just say I didn't think everything through today. So Kendall went into her appointment, and there's a sign on the door that says "No waiting." So we can't, I can't wait in there. And it's so early that I'm walking around everywhere, you know, to hang out or whatever. And every place is closed right now. It's too early. I tried to go to Neiman One too early. That's a like a mall. But uh, so I've been stuck wandering the streets. Kendall's over there in uh, the New York, New York Aveda Salon Studio there. And where am I at? Well, I'm sitting here on this curb, right by this smelly sewer. I guess I could have figured out a, a better place to sit, but well, at least I can keep an eye on her and see when she comes out. So, let's see how her hair looks. Right now, what I'm going through is an area called the, I believe it's called like the giant trees. As you can see, they're huge, and they line the road, which makes it kind of a pretty drive through here. Right now, I'm about oh 1.7 kilometers away from the temple, so it's a pretty way to get there. Here's the entrance. Now I have no idea. I've never been here before. Where anything is, so we will find out together. <laughs> At least I picked a great day for this. This is just perfect weather. <laughs> yeah, your guess is as good as mine. Okay, well, what you know, COVID strikes again. The entrance to the cave is gated, so we won't be going there today. However, this isn't gated. I have no idea what this goes to, so we're gonna give this a shot. <laughs> All right, so here we go. 
And those of you who have watched many of my videos know that when it comes to the steps, it comes the breathing hard, so I apologize in advance. So here's a look off to the side. There's a lot of fish down there. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. I have a feeling this doesn't really go anywhere too exciting, but I guess we'll find out together. We're gonna go all the way up, but it's pretty much closed. All right, here we are at the top. This goes to another cave, closed. But since I did make the effort to walk all the way up here, we will look down and see what there is to see from here. Ooh. I think I woke up all the mosquitoes. They're like, hey, food came to us today. So Google Maps really took me on a beautiful route to this next spot. The first place, the cave, that was a bust. Can't get in the cave because of COVID. Eh, oh well. I had a backup plan. That's where we're headed now. It's an obscure waterfall in the middle of nowhere. But look at the surrounding here. Absolutely beautiful. So, wouldn't change a thing. Well, I am thoroughly pleased that it has not rained in the last two days. Therefore, this road is drivable. Had it rained, you can imagine what this red clay road would be like. A slippery mess. Look at that. We're getting way back here in the mountains. It's getting kind of overcast. Hopefully that's just temporary. I have to say a shout out to this scooter of mine, the PC Honda PCX 160. It's a 160cc. We purchased this because we wanted a scooter that would not only get us around town, but would also get us up in the mountains. And we went to Pi. Uh, we went, uh, Kendall and I were both on it. And uh, I am, I'm not very light. I weigh about 200 pounds. And we could reach max speeds going straight up the mountain at about 54 kilometers per hour. So while that isn't a blistering speed, it still made it up the uh, steepest of incline. I can't imagine trying to do any of the mount mountains going straight up around here with anything less than a 160 if you have two people on it. This Honda's also taken a beating on these back roads. I've been on all kind of dirt roads. If you followed my videos, you know what I've put this thing through. It handles it all. So we're very pleased with the Honda PCX 160. So if you're looking to buy a scooter, consider it because it can do just about anything you need it to do. Okay, we have about uh, 500 meters to go. Look at this, absolutely gorgeous. Deep, deep, deep in the jungles on this dirt road. I figured I better go to these waterfalls now. They, a lot of them were closed because of COVID. Hope, hopefully they're still not. But uh, the end of the rainy season is next month. So I figure if it doesn't rain for, you know, nine more months, that there's not going to be much of a waterfall to see, even if it is open. Okay, I found the trail that leads to this waterfall. Let's see how this goes. I'm wearing my Merrells, which I bought because they were waterproof. But somehow there's a split at the bottom of the shoe, and now they're not waterproof. Anytime I step in water, it goes straight to my sock. I'm going to have to get some new ones. Wow, this trail is underwater. I can hear a waterfall. Okay, there's a bridge over there. Double back. All right, I guess this is a bridge too. All right, that's a little bit easier. Ooh, this thing is rotten. Okay, I've heard a lot of waterfalls, but there's a high-pitched squeal coming from over there that just doesn't sound like any waterfall I've ever heard. It is nasty right here. Oh, oh well, I should have brought another pair of socks.
Oh, there's some tourists out here. Two girls. When I parked, there was one other motorcycle out there, so I figured somebody was here. Yeah, this is pretty. All right. So I'm going to assume that uh, it's not always like this, but with all the rain and the rainy season, this is probably the best time to come see a waterfall. All right, well, pants are a little wet, a little muddy on my shoes, but we're all right. That was a really cool place. And if you're ever looking for a waterfall, I'll put a link to this one in the description. Maybe there'll be a little, you know, less tourists than other places whenever things get back to normal, since this is kind of a more hard to get to and lesser known one. I'll put a link. Well, that's about it for today. The waterfall was absolutely beautiful. Too bad that the cave was closed, but that's okay. Again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Like the video if you like it, and if you feel so inclined, please buy us a coffee. It'll help support the channel, and we really do appreciate it. Until next time, kap krap.